Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome back to yet another round of Rust. Actually, I'm not in the server yet, which is unusual to me. I jumped the shark. But, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay in this server. This server has been down frequently today. Uh, I will admit, however, that there have also been some recent patching going on. But, even with the recent patching, I'm not entirely sure why the server is going down today. But, it has been frequently doing it today. I'm not sure if this is da uh, daylight or nightfall. Troll box. <laughs> you want to troll people? Put it in the box. But, uh... I bet you you are wondering how the place is turning out so far. So let me just go over here because I'm going to need this. And I'll turn around in just a couple seconds here. Ta-da! Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's been too much going on, but you have to realize these floors are freaking huge. Not to mention all of the outside walls are up. And let's see here, is that that's stone. But all the outside walls are up. I've been leaving these uh, some of these inner doors open because pff, why have them closed? They're just gonna get blown to smithereens and there's nothing here for anybody to steal. But I have kept this one closed. This leads into the stairs to upstairs. It's, I'm kinda of thinking that this is gonna be the living room area down there, and the other half is gonna be the workroom. And then up here, I'm going to be building walls across this area here, up to here. And then between the two windows will be a nice long hallway. This will all be walled off on either side. So it'll be a, the hall, and this will actually be bedrooms. So every single, um, every single floor will have at least, I want to say, two bedrooms, if not bigger or smaller. Uh, so... I think technically the front and back windows will be rooms only, but either end will actually be a uh, be a free access hallway window. And this is how much of the third floor has been made thus far. We are almost ready to start putting up pillars. I'm kind of trying to hide a little bit where my stairs are so people can't easily see them. And it helps when you put them in corners and stuff, so, yeah. That's been helping a bit. I've recently... Uh, I'm not sure if I record that in the video feed or not, but I was uh, broken into a couple days ago. Uh, I believe at least two, if not three, of the doors were uh, obviously bombed out and had nothing in the frames. So I've had to replace those, which means that there are looters that do have explosives still. Not sure how many of them, not sure how much they still have left after that, but I guarantee you it's going to be a while before they come back in here anytime soon. So, with the fact that they can't seem to get any anywhere with me, one would think they would learn their lesson by now, but apparently they just keep trying. I just keep making more new, new doors. Making their search that much harder by making a small maze. Gotta keep the... Oh, hi. I'm not sure who he is, and I'm not sure where he's going, but hey, as long as he stays out of my house. Let's see here. Anything else to show you? The bears have been a nuisance, same with the wolves, so there's nothing new there. I actually did die and lost almost all my explosives. I've gotten one charge back so far. And um, I got most of this ammo back. The reason I died... Um, don't you love it when people who live with you decide to randomly burst into your room, for force themselves to stay there, and keep annoying you about things you are already pissed at them for and keep lingering there? Yeah, had one of those nights the other night. Ooh. 
So I also need to come back to the game again, despite having recently died and vent my rage against the animals. I swear, it feels like ever since my birthday on the 4th, it's been a bad penny. And I know people are sp say, oh, it, uh, your birthday should be the start of a good week, or at least a good month or something. No, it's been shit ever ha since halfway through the 4th. It's just been circling the goddamn drain, and it's really getting old lately. The only pr bit of promise I see going on is that, as of about the 4th, I could notice a pattern in the weather that's getting warmer. And thank God for that. While we haven't had nearly as much snow as we usually do have at this p time of year, the fact that it's such annoying pilly and wants to keep dragging us out into the streets to clean is kind of annoying. So I'm just sitting here praying that it'll just learn to go away. And that hopefully the weather will continue to get warmer and melt the snow, although now my family's freaking out already about the wintry mix next Monday, so I might have to get busy cleaning yet again to finish up the driveway one more time before the in-between season hits. And they better have some frickin' salt around here, because I'd be damned if I'm going to sit around trying to chisel that shit because people can't buy the salt the driveway. Which is another reason why I hope this game never gets seasons, because, oh my god, can you imagine trying to do this stuff in the snow? Not to mention you'd have extra cold problems. That needs a muzzle. I'll shit you up. Don't need it. I already got it. Let's see here. I really do need some more sulfur. I have actually been working quite hard and extensively at trying to get my explosives back, which also explains my massive amount of food if you look at the bottom there. 64 chickens right now. And those piggies are the best places to find animal fat. Not the only place, but one of the best places. So then. I still don't have much. I'm kind of waiting for an airdrop. Um, in case you don't know, this is uh, this server also has a massive amount of airdrops. I think it would be predictable by now as uh, for as often as I have to go outside and look up. I'm just kind of waiting and hoping for something to drop nearby so I can scoop up a ton of scrap metal. Because whenever I get a drop nearby and I can actually figure out where it is and grab it, that usually tends to mean a shit ton of speed up for uh, the building crafting. You know, even though I'm kind of half looking for sulfur, I don't really need it. I'll also pick up this and figure out what this is. Yeah, it's stone. But hey, 31 pieces of metal. Of oh, metal. Or so, I'll go with that. And let's see what we got out of this. We got 50 pieces. And 8 pieces of that.
Alrighty. So that's our required stone. <clears throat> Anything I can make? Yeah, I need to craft this since we just filled that up. Come on. Let's see here. I want to finish that roof so I can then work on the walls, so let's get some more metal ceiling. <clears throat> Only three pieces, but hey, any pieces is better than no pieces. I'm actually contemplating that I might make another Gullible Moron Trap. I'm not sure if I recorded it on stream or not, but there was one time that I was getting trolled by some guys, and I did lock one of them in a side room. He then continued to threaten to blow my place up, but never did because he's just an idiot troll. And screw him, I couldn't hardly hear him anyways. You want to troll him, he'd get a better microphone. Um... But uh, I'm kind of thinking of making another gullible moron trap on the first floor just to have something to lure people away and then go, ha ha, slam the door. And I'm actually thinking that if someone does try to pull some bullshit at me, that I will make it a freaking kill room. I will leave people in there to die. I'm. S I. I have very little interest in seeing trolls make up for their past stupid mistakes. If you're going to troll me that badly, you're going to get locked in a room and left to die of starvation. Because you're an idiot. And you're getting exactly what you deserve, an idiot's death. that someone has to think of stuff like that, but you know what? The internet's full of idiots. And you kind of have to sometimes prove that person's an idiot to make them get up and back. Oh, nice. Not sure what I'm going to use that for, but hey, I got it. That is the question. What am I going to use that for making? Because I don't think I have anything else to make. Actually, I think the only thing I might need... Checking the ammo. Yeah, I need some regular shotgun shells if I'm ever going to make a shotgun. I haven't decided to make one yet, but those are some devastating little bastards at close range. Especially if you have a shotgun that will take more than a handful of shells, or one shell. They can be really devastating at close up. I'm finding a lot of sulfur all of a sudden. Can't tell for sure. But definitely looks like metal, so I'm gonna go for it. Actually, no, I'm seeing the brown now, so never mind, that's just a stone. Get more, uh, more metal out of this. Little stone one. 
Oh, I hear something wonderful overhead. Over by Rat Town, okay. <clears throat> Let's go have a look. Okay, there we go. See that little hic that giant hiccup there? That's what I'm talking about. There's been a lot of those lately. And sometimes not long after a series of those, the ge the server will just suddenly decide that it wants to shut down. Anyway, that side, drop! There's hardly anybody on, so I might get lucky on this one. Dude, seriously, we have actually been having days where we had like 10 or more people, and I think we just barely had over 5, and I think one or two of them might have left by this point. So we'll see. Interesting. I don't remember there being a radi radiated area here. I seem to be bumping into one right now. And I'm not seeing the airdrops yet. Although I know they happened in this general direction. See anything from up here? I'm gonna head back the way I came. Because airdrops are not worth a game lost. They came down somewhere out here. Yeah, and because I'm also on late right now, I'm seeing a whole bunch of people. I have no idea who they are. Oh, hey. Ah, Smeg. I see some people are already encircled it, which means that any of the good stuff is probably already gone. I have to head back, I might as well head through Rad Town and see if there's anything worth picking up. Okay, keep following me. Well, I've already picked up some more gunpowder, at least there's that much. And someone thinks they can put a spike wall here in the middle of the road, I don't know why. Well, let's see what we can find. How's that useless? Nothing else, this thing's trying to refurnish my ability to make bullets and 
explosives. So I can't fault this run too much, although it appears someone has not too long ago already raided some of this. I'll actually take one of those, so I don't have one yet. And I'll take that because I need to learn that yet. And a few things I do have left to learn in this game. On this particular server. And yeah, just look at all these lag spikes. Again, this is why I'm kind of worried about the ability to stay on here for too long. We've only got about, what, 30, 40 minutes at most left. But even then, it's like, eh, it's going to be really jerky if it's going to keep crashing. Might as well try and find somewhere else to be. <clears throat> but we'll see. Pardon me a moment, folks. Uh, that was my mother checking on me. Um, the, um, she mostly just wanted to check that I got to see what I missed. Uh, there was a Beatles special, I believe, on Sunday, as they were re-airing today. I got to see your rhythmics, I'm happy. Not to mention Ringo got to play Yellow Submarine, so that's that's always a happy day, I guess. Alrighty, heading back. Got a lot of gunpowder out of this run. Also a ton of sulfur, and I think I still see one of the iron rocks I've seen earlier, so we'll pick that off. Then head back to the house. <coughs> Probably run into more animals on the way that want to gnaw my tender bits. Here. I have a nice little collection by the time we get back. 43 and 47. Oh, here we go. Hey, little piggy. I need some bacon. Daddy wants to have this explosive back. One way or the other. Somebody running over there. Yeah. Do 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 do. No wolf bites dust. Those rads down. Oh, you're tempting me now. That's the old house over there, still standing. I bet you in a couple of days I'll be seeing that thing falling apart. Well, that happens, I guess. guys that was doing that last airplane drop we were trying to get at just left. Now then. Aw, oh, just as I'm getting in. Okay, dropping everything off. 
Let's go see what this one's doing. Where's it going? Where's it coming from? I did drop anything within my sight. Dang it. I didn't see where it went to, where it came from, and I'm not seeing any drops. I'm seeing is empty blue sky. And that really does look like metal up there. And look, the guy that just left came back again. I bet you he had a another bump into another lag bug. And let's have a look. Yep. in. Now I work bench so I can do this. I can craft shotgun shells. Woo! Um. Sixty-five. I need to get some more wood. place that later off camera. Again, I'd like to keep my private places private, just in case anyone watching it happens to be on this server. You never know. Trolls will be trolls. Uh, down to 81 in that first, that third pile, but I'm not totally concerned about that. What I am concerned about making some low-grade fuel. Alrighty. Got as much of it as I can. Now. Explosives. Make five of them, which is more than fifteen, which means we can make yet another. If I can find it. Explosive charge. Alrighty, we're up to two now. We can actually knock down a door or a wall. Yoink. Actually, no. Give me that back. <laughs> troll box. For trolls. We need to troll them back. Dare you to come in here and try and loot that box. You're gonna get a lot out of that box. <laughs> uh, anyway. Low quality metal. As much as it is I can make. Right, practically out. Um, actually, I will give them only one thing. I will get rid of these shells because I don't need them right now. Depending on my mood, I'll go for M4 or I'll go with the shotgun, depending in this game. And I have a white cat near me. 
Hi, whiny cat. You gonna shut up, whiny cat. Are you even near my room, whiny cat? You know you're not welcome in here. That's what I thought. Good night. pieces of metal, but we have not actually done anything with them yet. There's a couple more. Now then. Ceiling. Two pieces. Put that there. And I'm sure some of you may have noticed that unlike the previous house, I have left a little bit of room between the door and the stairs. I really do get tired of having to try and get around the doors when they're in such close quarters. Hence part of the reason why I wanted a bigger house. <sighs> Anywho, let's see here. Only got two, three, four, eight, nine pieces left to make. And then we've got the ceiling for this, for the, we got the ceiling for the second floor and the floor for the third completed. And then I'll start working on walls in here. Yeah, I'm just kind of leaving that one open because I don't really care. Ah! Dinner's done. Alrighty. Still very slowly getting some of that. <coughs> Even though I really don't need it, I'm kind of contemplating... And actually, I get so much of it. There. Just toss some coal out. Actually, I think it's still in there. Yeah, I need to put it in here first. Then I can toss it out. Get so much coal. And it usually tr get so much extra charcoal that you really don't need it. <coughs> so I'll put it down there. And let that stack up for a bit. And while that stacks up, let's sit outside and see if there's anything else to do yet. I think when it hits the nighttime lull, I might call it there. I'm still getting a lot of weird lag issues. I think it's a server issue, more than anything. Oh, hi! Jump back to YouTube. I just heard footsteps and I had to stop for a moment. <laughs> Now. Oh well. As long as he doesn't interfere. Because the more animal fat I can get, the sooner I can move on to bigger projects and finish more explosive packs. I want at least a pack of five. A stack of five, rather. Yeah, we'll go for the gun. As much as I don't like to waste bullets in these animals, at the same time, trying to chase after them can be such a pain. So, more digital deer in the water. Oh! 
not sighting to hear the airplane this time. Well, right here. Right here, right now. Sweet. Thank you. Of those rocks. Not quite underneath them yet. So let's get up here. I also want to check to make sure that it wasn't a drop signal. Because if it's a drop signal, that means there's somebody already here. I don't see one, so yeah, as far as I'm aware. This one's all... Uh, hi, Shane. Fine. You can take that one, I'll take this one. Come on down. Step on by. And we get some ammo. Guess we're getting my entire three stacks replenished again. <sighs> I don't really need anything else from that. Some leather man. Apparently, he's making room for a lot of good stuff. Wow, he is really throwing out a lot of things. Done, you're done, man. I'll have a look. <laughs> okay. That was probably the drop that I wanted too, I betcha. I betcha that was the one with all the metal scraps and everything in it. firing at the sky or something. I don't know. Uh, anything else I need? Oh, hey. It's another metal rock. I'll take that. Twenty-five and twenty-five, sure. Let's toss those in the oven, too. Which of the uh, furnace is almost done with the first batch. I said, it can get rather dry when it comes down to just the crafting. Which is why I'm sure you people would prefer that I try one of the other sur more survival based servers, which I might. I might go back there again. I'm kind of getting an itch for a little more challenge, anyways. This is kind of my creative mode, whereas I would go to one of the other ones for a challenge mode. Um. <clears throat> 
let me see here. I want to make some more of that. And I also want to take as much of the animal fat as I can and turn that into some more low grade fuel. make there so let's go down can only make one oh metal fragments that's why there we go That's three more rounds of explosive. I still need another 11 before I can make another uh, explosive charge. Oh, that reminds me. Blink. And there's some more space. And then the, pretty much the rest of it is just good old dry, semi boring waiting for things to smelt. So, I think this is going to still be kind of a short one, but I think that's about all you guys really want to see right now. You kind of want to see how things are going. I did lose a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, I've been slowly piecing things back together again. Before too long, I should have another stack of five explosives, and I'll probably work on a second one before I really want to quit on that. Not to mention, I need something to eat up all the extra sulfur I'm going to be grabbing up with the metal, since I need to continue building on the house. So, uh, that's it for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.